This week on Senfo TV, sad news for a downtown hotel, good news for LGO hospitality, tons of generosity from Hula's Modern Tiki and Tom Simplot, summer camps, coffee potlucks, Japanese festivals, movies, beer festivals, Indian festivals, and all the art you can handle. I'm Dave Brookhauser. I'm Jackie Johnson, and this is Senfo TV. It looks like the soon-to-be but never was Hotel Monroe is headed for foreclosure. While we can't say it's a surprise, it is a disappointment. The building is currently scheduled to be auctioned on April 20th, so if you have some extra cash laying around, treat yourself and buy a hotel. I'm sad to say that Radio Milano is closing, but only for a few weeks in order to get a facelift. When it opens back up, it will be called Radio Cafe and have a more casual menu, expanded bar, and a lot more draft beer. Radio Milano has been a longtime favorite of Zenfo TV, and we're kind of left wondering why they're fixing something that sure didn't seem broke. Regardless, we have every faith in LGO that the new Radio Cafe will be just as good as all of their other creations. Hula's Modern Tiki seemed to take off from day one. We've never seen it not packed, and now they're doing something very cool with it. Along with Councilman Tom Simplot, they're kicking off a new fundraising project called Mahalo Mondays. Hula's will donate 10% of the proceeds from every Monday night to a nonprofit organization that will change every month. It kicks off in March, and the first recipient is the local chapter of the Red Cross. Next time you have a case of the Mondays, you've got your excuse to splurge. ASU Downtown is beginning a summer camp this year. It's a week-long camp designed to help kids learn how to be active and engaged in their local community. There will be field trips like courthouses and city hall, and they'll hold their own town hall meeting at the end of it. They'll be running the camp three times over three different weeks, and if you'd like the details, you can get the link in our show notes at senfo.tv. Saturday the 27th, our friend over at Light Rail Blog is throwing a coffee potluck with all of downtown's best coffee houses bringing their coffee and pastries. It'll be at 10 a.m. at the Portland Park right by the Roosevelt Light Rail Station. Saturday and Sunday the 27th and 28th is the annual Matsuri Festival at the Heritage Square. The festival celebrates Japanese culture with food, music, and art, and it's free. Also Saturday and Sunday, the Mon Orchid will host the Downtown Chamber Series with a string quartet and clarinet playing everything from Hungarian music to American folk, and you can also catch the Natural Origins exhibit. Sunday the 28th, No Festival Required will show Malls or Us at the Phoenix Art Museum. Dave and I got to see this last summer at Modified Arts, and if you want to keep motivated about shopping local, this film will do it for you. Next weekend is a big one, Friday, March 5th is First Friday, and it kicks off the annual Art Detour, which will go on all weekend. On Saturday, you've got your pickings of the Melrose Street Fair, the Great Arizona Beer Fest, and the Community Garden Kickoff Weekend, where you can jump in and help out with the new Community Garden going in the vacant lot across from Conspire. And if that wasn't enough, the Herd Museum will be holding their Indian Fair and Market with over 700 Native American artists, music and dance with plenty of jewelry, pottery, textiles and paintings. For details on these and all the events going on in Senfo this week, or to add your own event, visit our calendar at senfo.tv. Now here's Dave with all the week's best live music. Friday, February 26th, the Dirty Heads will play the clubhouse. Highwaymen Mark Zumba and Los Guys will play the Echo Tap Room. Nika Oliveria, Hogjaw, and the Necronauts will play acoustic sets at the Rogue. And Pigeon John will be at the Hidden House. Saturday, February 27th, Sound Tribe Sector 9 will play the Marquee Theater. Congos, The Lost Leaf, Mike Doty of Soul Coughing Fame will play the Cave Creek Coffee Company. The annual Blues Blast takes place at the Mesa Amphitheater. Downtown Chamber Series takes place at the Mon Orchid. Mini Bosses will play the Yucca Tap Room, and the Breakup Society will play the Ice House Tavern. Monday, March 1st, Appleseed Cast will play the Rhythm Room. The Toasters, the Martini Ranch, the Ducati All Stars will play Club Red, and the Yucca Tap Room will host its grand opening of their brand new sidebar. Wednesday, March 2nd, the Sugar Thieves will play the Sail In. Thursday, March 4th, Mike Watt and the Missing Men will play the Rhythm Room. Montoya and Vinning will play a free show under the Jellyfish at Civic Space Park. And the Love Me Nots will play the Desert Botanical Garden. Friday, March 5th, what Laura says will play the Civic Space Park. The Sugar Thieves will play the Rhythm Room. Hot Birds and Chili Sauce, the Sail In. Antarctica the Beautiful, the Rogue Bar. And for First Friday, Fatigo will play outside at Holga's. And quite possibly the best local showcase I've seen in a very long time featuring Deer in the Headlights, Kinch, Gospel Claws, Sister Cities, and Love Me Nots all playing at the Martini Ranch on one night. Saturday, March 6th, Haunted Cologne and World Class Thugs will play at the Lost Leaf. Sunday, March 7th, Dick Dale will play the Rhythm Room. New shows just announced this week. Nashville Pussy will play The Rhythm Room Sunday, March 30th. Paul McCartney will play Jobbing.com Arena Sunday, March 28th. And 30 Seconds to Mars along with Mute Math will play The Mesa Amphitheater Saturday, April 10th. That's it for this week. For all the bars, bands, and links, click on the music link at senfo.tv. 
Thanks for joining us. Don't forget you can subscribe to us on iTunes and YouTube, and you can find us on MySpace, Twitter, and Facebook. You can send your comments and suggestions to Senfo at Senfo.tv. You can sign up for our mailing list at Senfo.tv. And for every friend to tell about Senfo TV, I get a pony! He's grumpy.